Well, the homebrew community never stops to amaze me, and the game that I'm going to talk about today, I think it's going to be a masterpiece. And greetings, YouTube gamers! Welcome to another episode of Retro Raider. My name is Johnny Retro, and welcome to the channel. That's right, today we're going to talk about a brand new homebrew game that's coming out for the Nintendo Entertainment System. A game by Birthday Boy called Orange Island. This game is currently on a beta test, but uh, I got the chance to play the demo, and let me tell you guys, I truly think that this game is going to be amazing. So what is Orange Island all about? Well, this is a platformer action-adventure game, but uh, with some puzzles and also a lot of RPG elements to it. The game is going to be released in modern platforms, both PC and Mac, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. However, there's also a Kickstarter campaign live right now as we speak for an upcoming physical release for the NES. So the pledge is close to $19,000 and let me tell you guys, they reached the goal in less than 25 hours. By now, they're way over 50,000, so uh, it's going to happen, this is going to be released. I believe that the shipping is set for August 2020, so the game is going to be released next year, and uh, you guys can still participate on the Kickstarter because there's still one week to go. I will leave the link of the Kickstarter campaign for Orange Island in the description box below for you guys to check it out. Now, first things first, I want to talk about the background story of the game because it is very deep, very complex actually, for an NES game. On this mysterious island, the perfect summer vacation for four young friends suddenly turns a little sour. What looks like a tropical paradise slowly reveals an ancient and complex past between human inhabitants and the local slime creatures. After learning mystical powers through the old hermit Mary, Azure and her friends must embark on a journey to find and revive the island's magical orange trees in hopes of making peace between Mary and the slimes. What they don't yet realize is the stakes are much higher than they originally thought. So like I was saying guys, we usually don't see a huge background like this for NES games. Now about the demo about the actual game, like I said, it's still on the beta phase, but uh, let me tell you guys, it is, it is a lot of fun. When it comes to the actual gameplay of the game, well, it is pretty much your standard action platformer game. Lots of jumps, action, beating up enemies. And in Orange Island you have five different playable characters with individual magic abilities and stats. So each character will provide a different flavor to the whole experience of the game. The game will also have full towns to explore, NPCs to interact with, cutscenes and puzzles. And get this guys, as a matter of fact there's also going to be a shoot em up section. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of diversity within Orange Island. Now when it comes to the RPG side of the game, well to be honest with you guys it kind of reminds me a little bit of Wonder Boy, especially Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap. And I mean inspiration is always good and uh, that's actually a very good game. Next I want to talk about the graphics, let me tell you guys. This game looks beautiful. And I truly mean it guys, but keep in mind that I didn't play the original game on the actual hardware, on the original NES, but so far I have to say that it is one of the best good-looking games that I've ever seen for the NES. It is impressive, the game looks that good. It has this beautiful, beautiful pastel colors that I really, really enjoy. It has super detailed backgrounds. It is colorful, it is joyful, it is everything that you want to see on an 8-bit game. Speaking about 8-bit, well, we have to talk about the music and uh, yes, we also have a lot of good chip tunes. Classic 8-bit cheap tune ambience music and uh, to be honest with you, it blends really well with the game. And I have to reveal this guys, because there's actually a big surprise in the music score for Orange Island. And by big surprise, I mean a very special guest. The one and only Hiroki Kibuda. If you guys don't know, it is the master responsible for the soundtrack of Secret of Mana. And this amazing composer is going to make the arrangements for Orange Island. So overall guys, although it is still in a beta test, I do think that this game has all of the ingredients for a masterpiece. And feel free to check out the different tiers on their Kickstarter page. Keep in mind guys, you still have one week to go, but a couple of those tiers already sold out. Again, I will provide all the links in the description box below for you guys, the Kickstarter page, the official website of the game, and also a link for the trailer so you guys can check everything that you need for this game. So don't forget to check out guys, Orange Island, a brand new homebrew game for the NES. So let me know what you think down below about this upcoming game. And that's it for today guys. If you want to support the show, feel free to check out the Retro Raiders Patreon page. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put a like on this video. Please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves. Take care of the gaming community and game a lot.